A project to build the first ever small scale nuclear plant in the US has been called off. New Scale Power is the only company in America that's certified for its use of pint sized modular nuclear reactors. The company had been working with a group of utilities in Utah to launch a six reactor project. It was supposed to be built at the Idaho National Laboratory, generating enough electricity to power 300,000 homes, which is six mini reactors. It was supposed to replace power from coal plants that are closing, but it was called off because of rising cost. Seth Gray is the head of Lightbridge Corporation, also a member of a number of nuclear energy co committees and groups. Seth, first of all, what is a small modular nuclear power plant? Because a lot of us think of these giant things. And also, why is this a big deal, the cancellation? Yeah, a typical nuclear power reactor produces about a thousand megawatts electric of power. In the United States, we consider a small modular reactor between 50 to 300 megawatts electric. So usually less than a third the size of a current reactor that's out there now and cheaper and quicker to deploy. Hmm. And the cancellation, uh, the White House does not seem pleased. Why is that a big deal? Well, it's a big deal because this was going to be the first small modular reactor built in the United States. It's the first that has a licensing approval uh, for part of the process from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. But, you know, it, it's also potentially quite recoverable. New Scale is uh, bidding on other projects in the United States and overseas and potentially could be one contract announcement away from rebounding. But, but this was mm. definitely a blow, it's sad to see for the industry. Well, Seth, I was reading, this has been in the works for 10 years. Most governments, most companies don't wanna walk away from something after 10 years of planning. Was this really about the money and the tax credits? Was this about, I don't know, red tape, safety? What was it really about? No, I think it came down to money. The customer was a consortium of very small utilities in the Western United States that were looking at the economics uh, with rising inflation of the components like steel and with higher interest rates looking at the capital costs. And I think it came down to money for alternatives to produce the power, which you know is understandable with a first of a kind complex deployment of a project. Normally, after a few reactors of the same type are deployed, you have great confidence in the cost and time frame, but a little less with the first. But, you know, New, New Scale could still get there with other places that they've been looking at for a long time too, not just the Idaho project. Mm -hmm. Which, I don't know, my head goes to when you're developing the internet as the government, you know, when you're doing a space mission, is it gonna pay off? Is your ROI super high that first one? No, uh, in the end, do you benefit? Uh, we have in other ways, so I don't know about nuclear, but I was reading up on nuclear and we all know it's highly stigmatized. But I've also read it's one of the cleanest energies when it's stored and handled correctly. If we're going to achieve a net zero on emissions as the government wants to do, do we need nuclear? Yes, we can't achieve the climate goals unless there's significant growth in nuclear power. And we can't achieve weaning our allies, especially in Europe, off Putin's fossil fuels unless we have a significant expansion in nuclear power. And there are ways to do that even without building some of these new reactors. Lightbridge's new fuel will add new power, additional power to the existing nuclear plants. And there are more of these large reactors getting built too. So, you know, for a company like Lightbridge with advanced fuel that improves the economics of the reactors, the safety of the reactors, the non-proliferation, there's an enormous market of 400 reactors in the world that could produce more power right now by being upgraded when this technology becomes commercially mm -hmm. available. And new large reactors are getting built. And despite the setback with new scale, you know, it looks like there will still be large numbers of small modular reactors deployed in the US is and it, around the world. Seth, is it safe? I mean, honestly, I, I hear about nuclear and I read it on paper and I think this looks promising. If they told me they were putting it in my backyard, I'd probably be, be at the city council meeting, you know, and a lot of us feel that way. Is it safe? Yes. Um, the current reactors are the safest large industry in the history of the United States. Nobody 
has ever died from radiation in the history of this industry. It has a remarkable safety record. And these new small reactors and advanced technologies like Light Bridges Fuel make it even safer. Uh, it looks like these new small reactors will be able to be approved for having an emergency planning zone that just is to the site boundary so that literally if you live across the street, there's not a scenario where you'd have to evacuate. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I think we got 30 seconds here. We know wind has some problems with consistency. Solar hasn't taken it off like we thought maybe it would a decade ago. What else can President Biden do to advance the clean energy goals? Look, I think the most important thing is to recognize that that intermittency is not going to be overcome with large batteries anytime soon. And the only way to overcome it economically will be with more nuclear power as part of that mix. And that's why I'm heartened to hear the administration supporting nuclear power in the upcoming COP28 conference in um, Dubai uh, that'll start in the next couple of weeks that uh, the whole world is looking toward for guidance on how to meet climate goals. And I think the U.S. will take a strong leadership position there. Uh -huh. Yeah, we've seen in, in, in Europe some countries shutting down. So going nuclear, sometimes a good thing, as you say. Seth Gray, thanks for being with us.